ازاي اتحرك واللي قدامي بيعطلني I'm with Gigi, one of Egypt's young internet activists in Tahrir Square, the heart of Egypt's revolution. Only what's going on here today has Gigi worried. This officer is right, standing right next to my photographer right now trying to intimidate Gigi. She just showed me a picture she tweeted of him last week. Gigi says he's an Egyptian undercover cop. Although we have no confirmation of that. And he follows her to these rallies and, and, and stands there and tries to intimidate her. Gigi retaliates by taking pictures of him to go online. She wants us to kind of stay back so she can get a good shot of him, then post it up on Twitter. So in case anything happens to her, people know what this guy looks like. Also to warn other people, hey, this guy's undercover. Look out for him when you're out at the protests. Soon, Gigi is back. This guy was there last Friday with a walkie-talkie. Like, being part of the, the, the police, you know, the military police pushing protesters. And he's, he's wearing normal clothes. He's, he's looking like a citizen. And he has been watching me, and I feel it. Mona Saif and Gigi decide to go to another nearby demonstration, Where, uh, demanding the removal of the head of state television. And how did you two meet each other? Was it on the internet? Or? <laughs> no, it was a no protest. <laughs> Between demonstrations, it's easier to talk. It, it seems kind of like the revolution here is, is far from over. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's far from over. It's just beginning. This is the, this is the, the easy part was actually taking Mubarak out. It's the 18th December. Like, we're not leaving until he leaves. We're not leaving until he leaves. He left. Now the revolution begins. Today, tens of thousands of people follow these two friends on Twitter. So how many followers do you have? I now have uh, 12,000. 12,000. And for me, it's a huge thing because before the revolution, I had 800 people. <laughs> Gigi studied political science in college and has been active online for more than a year. Her aggressive tweets and tactics, especially against Israel, are controversial. And with Egyptian authorities, she's confrontational. So people are starting to respond to the tweet she posted of the uh, undercover cop who was following us in the rally. What are they What are they saying to you? Not unker, undercover material at all. This typical movie like Cheesy Cop. Like I, I would love to get his name to like put it on Wikipedia, which is the collection of all the pigs and thugs and that we encounter in protest that it's you call it pig pigipedia pigipedia like wikipedia but pigs pigipedia so pigipedia <laughs>